Hey, hey guys, what is up? It is no help and welcome back to another video today. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a subscriber suggestion. Can you do a guide slash explanation of your bank organization strategy? Found your Herblore tab very insightful and was wondering if there was more to the rest of it, maybe even including POH storage. Love the videos. I'll throw the comment up on screen as I said, but uh, yeah, let's start off the video. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna say this. Whenever you come back from doing anything in RuneScape, is this your first initial thing that you do? You just walk up to the bank and then deposit inventory and deposit worn items. Because yes, that's what I do as well. <laughs> and that's why you have a very messy bank. And you know, it's just, I'm gonna show you some things today which can kind of help you sort out your bank. Okay, I'm gonna first of all show you this plugin on RuneLight called Bank Tags. If I go ahead and turn this plugin on, on the side here of the bank, you'll see more tabs. Basically what this does is I'll go ahead and show you. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new tag. I can call it whatever I want, LOL. And then you can actually go ahead and change the icon of it too. So you can search anything in game. I'll just search um, Slayer Helmet. Uh, I'll just even do Slayer Cape. I don't even have the Slayer Cape, but I can put that as the tag for it. So now what I can go ahead and do is anything in my bank, I can go ahead and drag into there, even if they are in different tabs, as you can see. And now it just is an easy way to get to them. I can see tab four, tab eight, you know what I mean? And they're always going to stay there. So if I go ahead and take this out, it will still be here as well, taken out, and it will be here, taken out. It's very, very interesting. And I'll show, it, I'll show you my tags. So basically along with the tabs up at the top, I have these tags here. I have one for Slayer and one for Runecrafting. So basically my Slayer, I just have like pretty much the gear that I would usually take to Slayer. So it can be very helpful. And then I have my Rada's Blessing in here as well. And in my Runecrafting tab, I didn't have any more tabs open in my bank. So I basically set this up where I would just grab Pure Essence, my pouches, um, the Seal of Passage for when I was doing um, Astrals, and then some Energy Potions. Very, very useful. If you guys don't have this plugin, highly recommend you turn it on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you my bank organization today, and um, then I'll go ahead and show you what's in my POH as well. Thank you, thank you so much for commenting that. So I'm going to... I'm gonna start off by saying i haven't cleaned my bank in probably six months so it is a little bit messy but there are some things that just make it more organized and easy for me you know what i mean to understand so basically in my first tab here you know the tab that everyone has it's probably my messiest tab and that's fine because i just do like that thing that i told you the, the deposit everything and eventually i will clean out this tab but at the very top of it anyways, I have all of my runes and it's just very useful so you always know where all of your runes are except my one rune which is actually in here but there's a reason for that. So basically all my runes are at the top and we have like supply or like you know tools like hammer and chisel. I use those for birdhouse runs and then my crystal saw and then you know just knife, psyche, all of like the basic tools that you would use throughout the game you know what I mean. And then I also have some teleports that are useful, like the Xerox Talisman and the Book of the Dead. So basically all my runes and my teleporting and tools are here. Same with my pickaxe and axe, if I need those for like a clue scroll or something. And then it kind of gets messy from here. So I have my graceful down here, which uh, the thing about graceful, I can just go ahead and search graceful, grab it all at the same time. Then I just started having random things like um, molds that I would use to make uh, bracelets and necklaces and rings. And then just kind of random gear, like when I go fishing, um, I don't want to put this in my house right now because sometimes I go AFK fishing, so I have the angler's outfit there. Um, this sh Shazian armor I use for Slayer, but I don't want to put it in my Slayer tab right now, you know what I mean? I have bolts and darts that I need to finish making, and then Stardust when that update came out. I randomly went and got some Chinchampas, don't know where I can put them at the moment, and then my pouches for runecrafting. And then, yeah, just necklaces and stuff like that and outfits, you know what I mean? My clan, one that I just got. Ooh, the beekeeper, I can actually go ahead and put that in the POH when we head over there. And then the mining outfit. And then the reason my magic secretaries are off is because I was doing herbivore. So, yeah, first tab is really not the most organized, but I have it nice and, you know, so I know where everything is. All right, starting to get to a little bit more organization is tab one, which is my skilling tab. So... This is very useful to have a skilling tab. At the bottom, it's a little bit more messy, but for the most part, it's pretty clean. So I have the logs and then the type of plank. 
so oak logs you know what i mean um teaks there was like sixty thousand here um mahogany and then since they don't make planks after that i just continued it with the willows magic you oh sorry that's a little out of order there but uh <laughs> I, it should be like this and then like that yeah that's how it should be but anyways there's the types of logs you know what i mean these were my crafting supplies for when i um was doing crafting and fletching like that i think the reason why i had it like that was because of that but that, that's okay and uh then i have the gems and then the cut versions of the gems then i have buckets of sand which i used for um making all of the molten glass for 99 crafting and then all of my bird's nests here and they fit nice and, you know, organized in here. Then I have kind of the same little idea for coal, steel, mithril, mithril, adamant, adamant, gold, gold. It's just a very nice clean setup and I used to have the raw variant of the fish here as well, but I needed bank space. And now I just have um, my carambons. And then at the bottom here is just like the gear that I used to get carambons and any extra food. I remember getting food from like Tempris. And then like brimstone keys and stuff like that. Also in here, I have my golden nuggets for mother load mining. Pretty organized, could be a little bit better, but it works for me. Now this is kind of a waste of a tab, but this is my farming tab and it used to kind of be my teleportation tab. Maybe I can clean this out and find uh, homes for like, you know, scaling outfits or something like that in here. Basically, I just have some extra teleports, my farming outfit, crystal teleport seeds, royal seed pods and then these two items are very useful for farming as well and yeah it's kind of a waste of a tab but uh just has some teleportation things in it the next tab is my seeds tab it's pretty organized uh for the most part it's all it is is just seeds for farming the very top we have all of the herb seeds wanting to collect some more of those to continue to do farming but we you know we're gonna get more with the slayer then i have volcanic ashes right after that so that i can make the ultra compost and then we just have random uh tree and fruit tree seeds at the bottom here and then at the, this row right here is all the seeds for birdhouse runs so i have a bunch of all of them and then we kind of just had like the secondaries that you would get from farming so you know collected a bit of those over the time and we have the compost potions and at the bottom here just some filled pot plants and the extra seeds here are from birdhouses that I just didn't have in the bank at the time so yeah pretty organized I like this tab all right and this tab right here I is probably my nicest looking tab and this is the guy the tab that the guy saw and wanted to see kind of my organization on my bank and um yeah, this tab right here like it's just amazing it's like the grimy version the clean version the unfinished the secondary four three two one for all of the potions in the game that i can make anyways very very nice at the bottom here it definitely needs some work um we can get a lot of bank space from this but some of them are just you know i don't make them or they're just they don't have a spot right now because i was doing zalra or dragons or something like that we definitely need to clean up the bottom but you know ignore that look at the nice top oh yeah that's some good stuff right there now this is my kind of bossing tab um first of all it was just for rings that i got open from bird's nest and i kind of turned it into an elking tab with the mithril and the steel plate bodies and then i started camping zalra in forkath and i kind of just deposited all of my drops into here from Zalder and Vorkath because I wanted to keep them se separate from the Slayer. So yeah, I, um, I could probably clean this one out as well and make, you know, two fresh tabs, which would be very nice. But for now, it just works for me. And uh, yeah, I even keep my blowpipe, my tans in here and stuff like that. So overall, not the best. This one is pretty organized as well, just skill capes, very simple in the order that I got them. So I started with fire making, wood cutting, thieving, fletching, crafting, cooking, quest cape, strength. Um, and then we got the HP, farming, rune crafting, magic, range, construction, and attack. Yeah, pretty cool. Tab number seven is probably one of my favorite tabs as well. This is all of my Slayer drops. So at the very start or at the very top here, we just have all of my ensouled heads. And then, you know, like I have most of them in the game, I'm pretty sure. And then I have the totem pieces along with the totem keys. Then at the uh, this row right here, we kind of have more like rare drops, 28 granite malls. That's crazy. And then here we have um, 
the tooth and loop keys along with full crystal keys 92 of those in this row we have all of the bones in the game we're actually training prey right now that's why we have zeros in a lot of them and then we just have some more kind of rare things at the top here and we have the raw food that i get as drops from slayer my flocks 130,000 flocks and then it's just random drops. These are from Kraken and stuff like that. This isn't going to be the most organized because it's all just stuff that is going to be elked one day. We actually just recently did a big elk to, for, to afford 99 construction. So that's why there's a lot of the drops missing. 1,200 battle staffs. We just have random Slayer drops in this tab. So I kind of this is kind of the tab where I just throw everything into and I will eventually elk it one day. But uh yeah, it was at like 85 mil. We brought it down to 58 mil with Elks. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, we have a little bit of organization here, but it works for me. All right, this tab right here is my gear tab. Not the most organized ever either. Um, I tried to like organize the barrows sets that I got and stuff like that. But I kind of just use like the most of the stuff at the top, the most for Slayer. And then I used to use Black Dehide until I got the... Uh, ancient chops or even not uh, krills or something like that but i i know where everything is so like that's what matters to me so you guys can just go ahead and take a look at that right here all this stuff i basically just use at slayer and you know it all has its uses like darox for example has its use at nightmare zone we have all the magic uh, kind of gear here we have our void and yeah i will probably eventually be doing a full clean out video and do another organization type video for you guys but in this video i'm going to be going over more of like the tips and stuff like that and in the last tab here is just random questing slash holiday event things that i i know i want but i don't know where to put them you know what i mean like cooking gauntlets party hats stuff like that oh i, I have a bunch of random clue scrolls in here as well and fossils all right, so I'm going to go over some tips and things like that. So the first thing I recommend is the bank tags plugin. It, give, it makes you feel like you're getting more bank space than you actually have. I highly recommend you kind of just separate like things that you really like and put them into a tab. Do you know what I mean? So like for skilling, for example, it doesn't have to just be a wood cutting tab. It can be a skilling tab like wood cutting, mining, crafting, all of that type of stuff. Just throw it all into one tab, make it look pretty. Do you know what I mean? You could kind of mix farming with herblore. That's kind of debatable, but I can definitely see farming and herblore working out like having a tab like that. And then you could have all of your drops in one tab. It doesn't have to be a strict slayer tab. And then you could have all of your gear in one tab and then all of your junk in one tab. I've seen a lot of people's banks where they have nothing in the first tab, maybe cash. And, you know, that's very appealing as well. But then again, you just keep throwing things into it. And I like the fact that, like, whenever you've opened your bank, you log out or something, it's uh, on the first tab. So I have my cash here, you know, I have my tools here and stuff like that. And then I just know where everything is. Like, if I need my skill cape, or craft, uh, construction, go right there. We're going to do a herb run, we go right there. You know what I mean? We need to... Uh, <laughs> check out how much money we have we go here it's uh it's very you know over the long over a long time of playing an account you kind of get to realize it's bank and kind of remember where everything is in a way a lot of people just say to me that they use the search function that is such a waste of time imagine like using the search function for everything you will forget something 100 percent guaranteed and um yeah i definitely need to clear out some things with my bank as well but uh it works for me for now and we are currently at 815 out of 816 these uh beekeeper boots were what was pushing me over so yeah we will have to clean it out eventually but i'm gonna go ahead and show you my poh now as well and i'll be right back all right so in my poh um i'm gonna go ahead and just open everything up just to show you kind of like what is in here so i have 65 out of 77 from the toy box we just kind of have all the random halloween events and stuff like that in here we're missing a couple I'm not sure why or how, but we are missing a couple in here. Very, I really like this update though, because it made you you be able to store everything so much better. I could actually put my skill capes in the cape rack here, but for now I like to know which order I got them in. So this one actually has nothing in it. 
Um, this one I think is the holiday events ones, if I'm not wrong. Yes, we can go ahead and deposit the beekeeper. Oh, we finished the beekeeper outfit. Let's actually go put that on. I don't even know what the full outfit looks like. I've been trying to get this one like since it came out. <laughs> we look like that guy from the Squid Games, bro. Hell yeah, it's a decent looking outfit there. But uh, yeah, we have the beekeeper. I could actually have all of these, maybe besides this Dale Baguette, but I just like dismissed the man. I can't be bothered really, but we have two complete outfits, which isn't bad. And then let's go with the armor case. This one's the big one, the treasure chest. So the armor case, we have, oh, we don't have that much in it actually. I guess because a lot of my outfits I don't actually have. I think I dropped my builder's outfit. I'm not sure if I can get that back or not. There's definitely a way you can get it back, but uh, yeah. Don't have too much in here. It's either in my bank or I don't have it. Eight lumberjack, nine lumberjack outfits. Kind of crazy there. We used to do a lot of temple tracking. We have the rogues outfit. Then we have all the Shazian outfits besides the one that is in my bank. And yeah. But you can definitely save a lot of bank space from coming in to use this in your house. And for my treasure chest. So let's go with the easy at the start. Or do we have any beginner? No, we have not nothing in the beginner. <laughs> easy we have five things in here just blessings yeah i kind of figured i guess we have a couple of uh cloaks and shit like that mediums oh yeah we recently just got that that's funny um anything else amulet of strength trim elegant shirt yeah nothing in here hard will have a lot in it though um 15 <laughs> I guess it wasn't that much. We have uh, the blessed sets, cavaliers. We have a lot of cavaliers, actually. And some uh, boots, ancient boots, nunchucks, pirate hat, explorer's backpack. We have the full gold trim. That's actually pretty cool. Kind of wish it was the black one, though. And then some random stuff like that. Very useful, though, to have this in your house. Thieving bag. I'm not sure if we would have any elite no we don't have any elite or any master i don't think no but uh yeah having the house is a great way to organize your bank as well just because you can put so much into your house and it just makes it so much easier to get around the game just to put your stuff in your house like even your pets you can put in your house and stuff like that and you can deposit most of your runes into your house if you have a portal nexus but uh yeah bank organization is actually super important and for those people that say you know it's not important at all just to pause it and search for things yeah, don't do that you're gonna forget something on a slayer task you, you know it just makes your life easier to have such an organized bank or at least a bank that's organized enough for you just so you know where things are so right now you know i'm going to train prayer hmm, what do i need for prayer i need the burning amulet i need my orb which i know is like right here Hmm. <laughs> maybe i moved it i'm pretty sure my orb is right here uh god damn it i'm gonna have to use this search option orb it is in tab seven okay i, I moved it all right it's right here and uh, p -p 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 -p. then i know where my bones are slayer tab like that i'm just gonna go ahead and equip my amulet first and i know my bones are right here right away simple what to do besides the orb that was kind of a you know but uh yeah overall having the organized bank amazing and um i really hope this video helped you on um getting your bank to at least where you can you know handle it yourself a couple of tips in there like the bank tags and what to put into your bank but uh overall as long as you you know use bank ta tags have it somewhat organized and you know put as much as you can in your poh you'll be fine and um i'll make when i do eventually fully clean out my bank i will be making a video on that as well so that should be pretty interesting anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed the video today thank you again for the comment suggestion and i will catch you guys in the next video see ya later